So we were sent out on a job to move two services in a rear easement. Um, routine job, power was fine. It was just running over a deck and they didn't like it. So we were in and out of this lady's home for 20 or 30 minutes talking to her and then she got dressed for work and she was a nurse. So we all were exposed to a healthcare worker for no reason really. Yeah, as a troublemen are in and out of, you know, eight, 10 houses a day sometimes. And so their exposure level is higher. Gas service rep, anybody that deals with the customer every call basically has a higher exposure level. You know, everybody's learning. It's it's new. Nobody know knew how to deal with this, but they should have just had us dealing with emergencies only and put the other jobs on the back burner unless it was something pressing a hospital or something, but um, that's the only thing they could have done differently, but you know, it's new. What they didn't they were learning how to deal with it just like everybody else. They have yeah, PG E has evolved, it's gotten a lot better. Um, they understand our concerns being in the field. Uh, you know, our concerns are different than if you're in a, your own office. There's no exposure there, so they've they've definitely gotten better at it. Uh, they provided us three different kinds of masks, FR masks, because of our job. Um, and that's about it, the normal PPE beyond that. Um, they've been cleaning the, the inside of the building a lot more. There's a hand sanitizer uh, pump in the hallway. So, you know, we're all supposed to wash our hands and stay as clean as possible. They, we were issued like three different kinds of masks, uh, neck gaiter and um, people wear it. You know, we're wearing them when we, when we need to. Uh, we're six, eight, 10 feet apart. A lot of times guys take them off because their safety glasses are fogging up. It makes it difficult to work. When we're close together, we're wearing them. When we're doing our tailboard and everybody's gathered around, we're wearing them. Uh, dealing with customers, we wear them. They've got the underground guys coming in an hour earlier, so they're not in the bull room when we show up. And uh, for us, there's maybe six, eight guys in there in a room that holds 100, I think. Um, just the homeless population is a big concern. I don't know how many of them have it, or but they're not taking the precautions to not spread it, and they're everywhere. It's it's wor the worst I've ever seen. Or two, they're trying to put um, these people in tents provided by the city in an encampment, and we've been running power to those um, encampments so they can charge their cell phones or whatever they might need to do. Um, in two to three years from now, it's definitely going to go down as the strangest, one of the strangest times in my history, probably the history of the world, I would say. Um, and I don't think it's going away. Well, the kids, they, they seem to adjust to change a lot better than, I'm set in my ways, right? And they've took it in stride, but I tell my wife, I can't imagine being a kid stuck in the house, you can't play with your friends, you're not going to school. It's kind of a bad time to be a kid, to be honest with you. Um, my wife's a teacher, so she's gonna teach him herself and uh, to avoid the contact with a bunch of other kids.